Hello to everyone, pharmacy, medical, paramedical, life science graduate and your career aspirants. So today's topic is the roles and responsibilities of CRA. Myself, Sana Shirin and this presentation is under the guidance of Mr. Sheikh Mujibuddin, who is CEO and founder of Clinizol Research and Private Limited. So before going into roles and responsibilities of CRA, which stands Clinical Research Associate, we need to understand who actually CRA is. Clinical Research Associate is also known as a monitor, is employed by either a pharmaceutical company or a contract research organization, which works on behalf of pharmaceutical companies. The CRA will be involved in all the stages of the clinical trials, including identifying an investigation site and setting up, initiating monitoring and closing the trial upon completion or termination. Next slide. Like the other employees who are working in any organization have some roles and responsibilities to do. CRA also has responsibility. So these uh, responsibilities are regulations and guidelines with CRA much adheres that governs clinical research. Typically, the key responsibilities of the CRA will include monitoring study sites and clinical activities, updating study documentation, maintaining clinical data systems and coordinating research procedures. So here is the flowchart explanation how CRA does his work. First step is feasibility of trial. Depending upon the feasibility of the trial, he recruit the investigators that research who should be qualified by training or experience and should have adequate resources to properly conduct the trial for which investigator is selected. So after the recruiting investigator, there will be pre-study pre visits and the site and there will be routine monitoring studies whose purpose is to check up whether the reported data is accurate and complete and verifiable from source documents. And then it, if everything goes fine, site close out visit is conducted and final IP accountability is done. Here comes the roles and responsibilities of the CRA. The main important is identifying, selecting an investigator who will responsible for the conduct of the trial at the trial site. And the second one is licensing with the doctors, consultants or investigator or conducting, conducting the trials. And the third one which comes setting up the trial site which include ensuring each center has the trial materials, like each center has its trial materials, including the trial drugs, often known as the investigational medicinal product, training the study in standard operating procedures for clinical trials as per applicable regulatory requirement. So here are the forms, informed consent form reviews and case report form reviews, investigational drug accountability and some of the adverse events of the review. So the monitor should promptly inform the sponsor and the ethics committee in case like any deviation, unwanted deviation from the protocol or any transgressive principle embodied in GCP is noted. Ensuring all the unused trial supplies are accounted for. Final is the writing visit reports, filling and, and collecting trial documentations and report. To become a successful CRA, what are the skills required? First and the foremost thing is excellent communication skills, both with written and oral, and ability to build effective relationship with trial staff and colleagues and the next one is the ability to motivate others and next one is an eye for details and ability to multitask and think on your feet good and next one is good organization 
next slide so here come the prospects of the CRA depending upon the experience in the field CRA aspired to be lead CRA or head of the clinical research or project manager or director of clinical operator or or to be the work of a clinical research associate open career opportunities in the pharmaceutical research and development sector for positions in pharmacovigilance regulatory affairs and marketing and i thank you for the whole clinical training for giving me this opportunity thank you